father was a very, very, very good man. Zinia Soto is grieving the loss of her father, 62-year-old Israel Soto Cologne, Tuesday in front of Greenfield School at 35th and Mitchell. Police say a hit and run driver is to blame. It was in a school zone. I mean, it's supposed to be a 15 mile per hour zone and this guy's just speeding, zooming through there like all these cars are doing. After Xenia's father was killed, there's now a radar speed sign in front of the school. But there's a demand for Milwaukee police to do much more. We've got uh, a city where a significant number of our neighborhoods are simply out of control when it comes to traffic safety. Milwaukee Alderman Bob Donovan says there have been eight hit and run fatalities so far this year in the city. He points to reckless drivers constantly speeding, red light running, and illegally passing on the right. He wants more police enforcement. And we expect a change, and we expect them to increase the level of patrols and, and, and uh, uh, traffic enforcement. The alderman also wants a review of the police non-pursuit policy, which he says is fueling a belief reckless drivers won't be held accountable. And I'm going to always, always, always miss him. And I can't believe I'm not going to hear his voice ever again. Milwaukee police say they found the suspected car involved in the hit and run crash abandoned. They later arrested the owner on another outstanding warrant. Live in Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. Thank you.